Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, we will discuss an important business use case using parallel weight condition with uh, uh, weight condition in uh, classic workflows, right? So let's say there is a scenario, let us take a use case. Uh, this is a school application where uh, user can create an attendance record for a candidate, right? So what is the requirement is whenever someone provides some information here, and choose a candidate, uh, let's say uh, Rohit Kumar, for example, this is the candidate. And for this candidate, I am trying to create a attendance record. So let me provide here. Okay, now I have provided some attendance and saved it, right? So my requirement is whenever an attendance record is created, but somehow the approver is not selected and approver is blank, my, my workflow will do that as soon as the attendance record is created, it will wait till the approver is selected in the record. And if the approver is not selected after one day, then reject this attendance record automatically. So this type of requirement uh, can be done using parallel weight in combination with weight condition, which, which will be done parallel. So, First, it will wait uh, whether the approver is blank or not, or whether it is selected or not. And also it will keep waiting whether the duration is already crossed uh, one day or not, and approver is not selected. So let us see how we can do that. So we will go to the solution and create a new workflow. This time I, want, I am using classic workflow and give a name. Let's say send email or reject. Okay. So if approver is selected, it will send an email to approver to approve or reject that attendance. Otherwise, it will auto reject after one day if approver is not selected. So I can define attendance as the entity and I can define a run workflow in background and click on create. So here you need to choose the uh, trigger as soon as a record uh, attendance record is created and the uh, in, in addition to the trigger, you have to use the uh, actions. So let me open the pop-up which is blocked, the workflow designer. Now let us add some actions with the scope and trigger. So scope, I will choose organization and uh, trigger is record created and I want to add a step. The first step I want to add is wet condition. But it will wait for it will wait till the approver is not blank. So select attendance where attendance approver contents data. So it will till wait uh, till uh, the approver contents data. It will keep waiting. And once it is once approver contents data and approver is selected, it will send an email. So let's add an action called a send email. And it will send uh, approval to send an email to approver. Okay. And click on shared property to define the body and message of the email and to whom you want to send email. Let's say I want to send to the attendance approver. And subject I want to define take action new attendance submitted. Submitted for your approval. Okay. Now, body can define dear approver. Take action on the approval record. And here, I want to mention the link uh, uh, link of the uh, link of the record dynamically. So, what I can do? I can define a text here. Let's say from from and here I want to dynamic the dynamic URL of the uh, record. So I can click on this record URL and click on OK, which will create a uh, link to the uh, record itself, right? And regarding lookup, I can assign it is regarding the candidate and seven close duration. I can mention the due date. Let's say due date is uh, today, the processing date. 
and save and close. So I have se I'm sending email once it will keep waiting when the approval is selected. But what happened if it is two days already completed and approval is not selected? I want to uh, reject, auto reject the attendance. So what I can do, I can click on wait condition and add a parallel wait branch. And this wait branch will just time out after two days but for testing purposes i will just use process timeout one minute okay equal to duration one minute so be duration choose duration and one minute so within one minute if you have not selected the uh, approver after you created the uh, attendance it will auto reject so add an action to add a step called as uh, change status and uh, change the status as rejected reject the attendance auto reject now it is done so this is two uh, this is a parallel wait one wait wait uh, one wait will wait till a condition is met another is timeout so both are running parallelly now save and uh, activate this. Now I can activate. Now I can test. Let us create an attendance without a uh, approver. Let me click on new. Give test attendance without approval. I can choose a student or candidate. I will I'll keep approver as blank and in the entry time I will choose something and save. As soon as you save, the workflow will run asynchronously and it will keep waiting uh, till the approver is selected. If it is not selected after one minute, it will keep waiting for one minute. If it is not selected, it will auto reject the status. Let us wait. I am not selecting any approver and wait for one minute. The uh, workflow status you can check in system jobs. Okay, if you go to system jobs, you can check in the not in the personalization setting, in the advanced setting, system jobs. So this is the send email or reject, and this is still waiting for the time. Okay, if you open that, you can check the status. I'm still waiting for uh, approval to be selected. Otherwise, it is still waiting if it is timeout uh, done after one minute. So let us wait. Just keep refreshing this. I'm not selecting approval till now. I'm expecting this will timeout and not to reject the record. Now you see, guys. Now the uh, flow is uh, waited for one minute and it auto rejects the record because before uh, till one minute nobody has selected the approval lookup now the attendance status will be rejected now it is auto rejected right now if you see create another record and with the approval i will select the approval and attendance and save it now workflow will run and uh, it will uh, wait and check that if approval is selected already it is not blank and it will send an email if you go to the candidate you can get the email related activities and you can see in the closed activities the email will be there this is the take action and in the body you will find the link to open the record so that if this email is sent to you know uh, to the outlook they can click the link from the outlook where the, where the uh, record will open to review and approve it i hope you understand guys how parallel wet condition is used uh, using a proper business scenario in combination with wet condition thanks everyone bye Thank you.